as you watch this, I am probably laying on an operating table getting my leg cut open. So feel free to send a prayer my way because I will totally need it. This is pre-recorded pre -recorded, pre -recorded because it's Wednesday, so that means it's time for episode three of my new favorite thing, Share the Good. How the life goes on. Jessica from Keen Photo and Video and honestly like these like this couple is relationship goals for me they are a couple uh they're both photographers and videographers I think the husband's more into videography and she does photography or they both do photography I may be gonna get totally wrong but look at their pictures just look at them they're freaking gorgeous and they're just the sweetest people ever so I asked Jessica to share a little bit about the uh, quarantine porch photo she been she's been taking and then just to share about what she's learned during this quarantine and how it's changed her and the message she has to share is amazing and what I definitely needed to hear before surgery about how God is truly greater than our highs and our lows. Hi all, my name is Jessica. Um, I'm half of King Photo and Video. My husband is the other half, but he's currently dismantling our former deck, the things that you do in quarantine, right? Um, I was asked if I would share a little bit about um, some things that we've been doing while in quarantine. We decided to jump on the Front Porch Project train, and it's been a lot of fun. When I first heard about it, um, a, I believe a photographer in Utah, they had the idea to go around people's houses and just take pictures of the family on their porch. Everything was online, you know, payment and photo delivery, so quarantine rules were being followed. And we decided to just do that and, you know, let people pay whatever they wanted because, you know, times are hard and people can't necessarily pay a lot for a typical session right now. But when we started doing that, I thought we'd get a lot of people, like, in pajamas and, like, curlers in their hair and, like, one eyelash off and lipstick smeared and um, bedhead and all sorts of different things. And we haven't had a single one of those. Um, people will message me and they're like, we want to do this, we're going to go all out. And then I show up at their house, I send them a message, let them know I'm there. And they come out ready for family pictures. They're all dressed up. And I found it interesting that the majority of people, when they come out, that they've told me that they were going to look like they're a mess. Um, when they come out, the mom usually says, we haven't had anything to look forward to. We haven't had anything to get ready for. So we decided to get ready for this. And it kind of made me laugh and I'm like, why? But I got thinking about it. I'm like, you know, if it's something that people get excited for and something to get dressed up for, why not? Like it's giving me a reason to get dressed up because I'm, I am in my pajamas quite a bit these days too. Um. Another thing that I was asked, asked to, uh, to talk about was, I've got my notes here, um, how my faith has grown during this. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and sorry I might get kind of emotional. Um, well, first let me show you my shirt. Um, this was my, this was our girls camp shirt from last year. I'm, if you aren't familiar with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, we, um, are asked to be in callings. Nobody is paid in any, any calling. And right now I work with young women, um, in our, in our ward, in our church. And every year we go to girls camp. And last year our theme was God is greater than my highs and my lows. And it's been really fitting for this year because we have to remember that everything we go through in this life 
God truly does have a plan for us. And even though times are crazy, things are extremely hard and unsettling and things aren't certain, there is somebody greater than us that has a plan for us, that he knows the beginning from the end. Um, and we don't need to fear. Things might be scary and it's completely okay and natural to be scared. But um, I think for me, something that I have found completely amazing and wonderful is the fact that I feel like I've been prepared for this. I obviously had no idea a pandemic was going to happen. Um, but leaders in my church for, you know, years, they have put things in motion for people that have been listening to be prepared. I can't say I had food storage for two years, but we had enough food for a couple months and we're doing okay. Um, our church is really big about not being in debt and to have a savings for, you know, emergencies. And we're very blessed to have heeded the council um, of church leaders. Um, another thing is a year and a half ago, our church leaders, they introduced something called Come Follow Me, where it's essentially church at home. Um, and what we study at home, then on Sundays at church, we talk about what we learned at home. But this has allowed us to be able to continue having church in our homes. And I don't know if I'm gonna really want to go back to church when all of this is over. Um, I've really enjoyed being able to have our Sunday church services, just my husband and I, that were able to fully discuss the scriptures and um, gospel doctrines and principles and different things. Um, also, another thing that Megan asked me to share was how I have found joy among all of this chaos. This one's a little harder, um, but I think it goes back to how my faith has grown. I have found joy in being prepared, and I have found joy in um, people coming together. The prophet of our church announced in conference, which was a televised um, worldwide church meeting um, a couple weeks ago, he invited all of the members of our church and friends, so anyone, to join in a fast on April 10th. Somebody created a Facebook page, and it has like over half a million um, people and part of it and people have shared their stories of struggles that they've gone through people of all faiths are asking for prayers people of all faiths are coming together showing compassion and love and they're finding things that we have in common versus things that we um, we don't share because we really do have more things in common with people than we don't. And I think the joy that I have found is people coming together um, for a good cause and it being for the cause of Jesus, I guess. Um, let's see here if I have any other... Random acts of kindness that you have done, received, or witnessed during this crazy time. <sighs> I don't know if I've really done any random acts of kindness, I guess. I'm not one to... We've done stuff, but I'm not one to really toot my horn of um, doing things for others, I guess. Um, we have received kindness. We... Um, we bought our house two and a half years ago, and the former owner, um, I 
Yeah, uh, our backyard was kind of scary, and there was a pretty sketchy, sketchy deck on it. And we um, were able to to borrow some stuff from some neighbors, and uh, my husband was outside the other day moving gravel with a skid steer, and the neighbor across the street from us, he saw him out there and brought a shovel over and started helping. People are just, I think, more kind, and people are more willing to see opportunities to serve. Um, I think we should always be doing things like this. I've heard that and I've said it too, uh, I can't wait to get back to our normal. But I kind of don't want to. And I think the reason being is people are kinder. People are more willing to look out for their fellow man. And um, people are just nicer in general. They are more willing to serve and be more Christ-like. And I hope after all the craziness of this pandemic is over, we remember those times. These re we remember these times and we remember um, to be kind to our fellow men. The other day I related it to Christmas. Like Christmas, there's a special spirit about the time. In December, everybody has the Christmas spirit with them, and um, people serve so much more during de during December. Then January comes, and we kind of forget that. Um, I hope it's not going to be like that, because I feel like, in a sense, it's kind of like December. We're all kind of kinder, and looking out for each other a bit more, like we should, and I hope that really continues. So... Alright. Thanks guys. Isn't that just awesome? After what she said about going back to normal. Like, I agree with that. People want to go back to normal, but I think normal was the problem. I hope through this that we can keep that like Christmassy kind of spirit with us to continue to be kind, to continue to care about our fellow men, to continue to find joy in the things that matter, to continue to share the good and be the good. Thank you, Jessica, for sharing the good and being the good. You are incredibly humble and I just think the world of you. If you would like to share the good with me, please send an email to smilemcgee123 at gmail.com or send me a direct message, whatever uh, contact platform works better for you. If you liked this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Follow Keen Video. I have their Instagram link attached to this. They are phenomenal photographers and fantastic humans. I hope to talk to you soon. I hope this surgery goes well. Again, I am probably on an operating table as you're watching this because I'm having, well, at least I'm trying the whole publish a post thing so it'll just post this while i'm under stay strong keep me in your prayers be the good and as always smile on